Cambridge. Today we're in Cambridge, Mass. Uh, I'm talking to Laura Fitton. Uh, Laura is one of the co-authors of the uh, newly, newly released book, Twitter for Dummies. Yes. Laura, how are you today? I'm good, thanks. How are you? Good. Thanks for talking to me today. So tell me about uh, the book. Well, you know, there's there's a lot of need, believe it or not, to, to explain Twitter, not because Twitter is so complex, but because it's a little obscure to see what the value is and how to use it, how it can be used for business, what individuals would benefit from it, especially thinking through some of the non-technical people in your life, trying to explain to them why they want to do this thing is a little weird. So we were asked by Wiley back in May 2008 to put something together, and it came out July 6th. Yeah. And what kind of things are you talking about in the book? Um, it's it's a pretty standard, yeah. yeah. It's a 101, how to get started. We do get a little bit into what are the business uses, how can nonprofits use it, what are the personal uses, um, how are people getting creative with it. We try and tell a lot of stories in the little sidebars of some of the really cool things that have right. been able to happen because of Twitter. Right. What's, uh, I guess, one really good piece of advice you could give to uh, a business owner or a brand wanting to start on Twitter? Absolutely. Uh, my, my most universal piece of advice for absolutely anybody on Twitter is to take what you're saying and turn it inside out. Try and make it a little bit more about the person who might be reading it than it is about you, right? So even if it's something as selfish as promoting your own blog post where you're really just posting the title and the link, if you just post the title and the link and expect people to click through because it's got a nice title, that's a little selfish. That's a little come read my stuff. But if you turn it around and ask the reader a question about themselves that pertains to the blog post, that ties into why you wrote the blog post, then it's a little more interesting to them and they might actually click through. Yeah, that's a great, uh, great suggestion. So you're providing value in your account that way. And, you know, more people follow, more of a community gets built. Right. So, Laura, in addition to this book, um, you've got a, a consulting company mm -hmm. that you're with. Yeah. Can you talk well, about that? So, Pistachio Consulting is my communications consultancy and has been for years and years and years, since mm -hmm. 2002. Um, over the last two and a half years, people kept coming to me to explain Twitter, to brief their executives, to speak at conferences. Um, oddly enough, I had a role in getting Guy Kawasaki to understand the value and really adopt the service and, and find some good uses for it. So I defaulted into the role of social media consultant. After about a year and a half of doing it, 50% of my working time, I finally said, well, maybe I should be charging people for this. So Pistachio Consulting relaunched as the original Twitter for Business consultancy in September 2008. That's cool. And then you guys were on Twitter uh, at Pistachio. Yeah. So I personally am on Twitter at Pistachio. My okay. stream is a mix of business and fun and goofiness and personal. Um, people ask me a lot, how do you separate personal from business? In my Twitter account, I don't happen to do so. I just try and keep the personal stuff within reins. Um, there's lots of different ways to cut it. The way Dell does it, they have the business account and then the person behind each business account. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's valuable both ways. They serve different purposes. Right. Now, another thing you're working on, you probably can't talk a whole lot about, uh, yeah. you're in stealth mode. Uh, yeah. Can you tell me about, about your new project? Yeah. So I'm the founder of 140. Uh, 140.com. That's why we're standing in front of this nice Techstars poster because we're here as part of the Techstars program in Boston this summer. And 140 is a startup to help people make sense of the Twitter ecosystem. There are thousands of tools that are built off of Twitter services, standalone websites, things that help people get over that initial, I'm not really sure what Twitter is. What the heck is the value here? Um, and we want to help, again, in the same vein of what Pistachio Consulting has always done and what Twitter for Dummies does help people get some of that value because it can really change lives and do some neat stuff. And when that launches, uh, what's the uh, website we can find that on? Um, people can sign up now okay. uh, to be notified when we do launch. We're currently testing it among Twitter application developers only, so it's in private alpha. But the mm -hmm. site is www.140.com, and that's spelled out, O-N-E-F-O-R-T-Y. Okay, great. We'll be, definitely be keeping an eye out for that. Thanks, and at 140 on Twitter. Yeah. Uh, Laura, thank you for your time. Good luck with your road trip. This is such a cool project. Thank Good you. Good luck. Travel safely. Thank you.